Hello, this is Dr. Yale Mal, and today I'm sharing with you what's the most used reconstitution method for Botox. Uh, remove the toxin from refrigeration and then cap. This is a 100 vial uh, of Botox and we are doing the standard 2.5 cc uh, reconstitution with saline solution. I'm using today my favorite sizes for needles and syringes, which are the 3 cc syringe, which are 22 gauge, one and a half long needle. But remember that needles between 18 and 25 gauge uh, work for this mix, where the higher the gauge number, the thinner the needle will be. Also, this is the lure lock attachment, which is that standard twist lock between syringe and needle. So with your 3 or 5 cc syringe, you aspirate 2.5 cc of saline, uh, which is the standard recommended manufacturer volume to reconstitute a 100 units vial of Botox. Use the same needle to stick into the Botox vial and let the vacuum aspirate the saline to the inside of the vial. If no vacuum occurs, do not use this material and contact your supply to inform its lot and number, as it is not safe. Circular movements are enough to reconstitute the material. Do not shake it. Now, you can either remove the original mixing needle from the vial, if you use syringes that are one single piece with the needle attached, or you can leave this needle and use lower lock individual syringes of 1cc, to aspirate the number of units desired for the use you are about to proceed. Insulin needles and syringes are not recommended for this, as the needle may pop out of the syringe during the application and it is not safe. Also, insulin units marking does not relate to toxin units, dosage and it may be confusing. One and a half inch or four centimeters long needles are good because they reach the bottom of the vial, avoiding waste. Lower lock syringes can be attached to this needle to aspirate the volume you need. The needles for application should be between 29 and 32 gauge and half inch long. Make sure you understand the toxin unit system well before moving forward and good work.